We're on Linux Mint 20 with the Matei desktop. We're going to get Compiz working. Now, of course, this is still a beta of uh, Linux Mint at this stage. It's only been out for three or four days. And I have also had some problems with Compiz. So you do this entirely at your own risk. I've had a few failures. So with that said, let's get into it and see what happens. So we're going to go here and then we go to Compiz. In XFCE, as we are here, we go to the settings, desktop settings, and we change XFWM4 and compositing to Compiz. Yeah, there's the first part. You see, we've lost our, our title bars and we can't move the windows. So, what we're going to do is open the Compiz Settings Manager. To get our borders back, we'll need OpenGL and Composite. So, when we select this, it'll pop up for something for there. So, let's see what happens. Enable Composite, that gets selected as well. Screen does a bit of a flicker. We're going to come down here to Window Decoration. Now I've got our decorations back. I can't actually move the window. So we've got all the way to the bottom. We've got Move Window. So we'll select that. We'll also select Resize Window. So now I should be able to resize them and move them. So we've basically got a functioning desktop back. We can close these other windows that we don't need. And what we're going to do is get the cube working and a couple of other basic functions. Before we do that, I'm going to point out what's changed here. Uh, normally, the back end is on G settings, but by default, for whatever reason, in Linux Mint 20, it's on flat file. And also, when it's on G setting, there's normally a profile up here called Mint. Uh, there's, there's no profile, so to speak, for the flat file. It's just what it is. Uh, if you change to G settings, which we'll do at the end of the video, I'll show you something a little bit different there. You can have different profiles in G settings, but I can't seem to uh, get that functioning on the flat file. So we're going to build on the flat file. We'll go back. First thing we need is general options. And we go to desktop size and we need four horizontal desktops if we want a cube. We go back. And we'll start working our way down a little bit here. We're going to enable Expo. And then we'll click on it. We're going to give ourselves an Expo corner edge. There's currently none, so we'll click on there. I'm going to use the bottom left in this demonstration and we should now have Expo working. And the appearance, uh, we're going to go for a bit of a curve. Let's see how that looks. Uh, we'll just increase the camera distance here a little bit. change this 64 we'll change that to 24 so now we've got similar gaps at each side and um, we've got our four desktops we can drag windows across and we'll also if we scroll down here there's one called reflection at the bottom we'll click on that and where it says reflection we'll just put a check in here before I do that if you look it's all dark down here where the mouse is so we'll tick the reflection box and now we should have reflection down there. We're going to select desktop cube and rotate cube and the viewport switcher, which the viewport switcher gives us the mouse. So I'm going to use the mouse wheel out here and there's our cube. 
it's a little bit on the large size so we'll let's have a look see if we can fix that we're going to zoom to about five there we go we'll go a little bit more we'll go to six so now we can see the cube it's not so in your face filling the screen we'll go into desktop cube and we'll go to transparent cube and opacity during rotation we'll put that to about 50 and now you can see we've got a somewhat transparent cube we'll move down a bit further 3d windows we'll select that we'll click on it we'll come in here window depth and we'll crank this up to I think we can get one there we go you can see the window standing out away from the face and we'll just we'll give it a bit of color uh, so this is the active window I'll make that a bit green and we'll make the inactive one a little bit red so we'll open another window and we'll make this one active it should be green and that one should be red on the edges there they are the top edge is black because that's effectively off the screen if I just drag that down a bit that should be red now or rather it's green because it's active let's go back animations we'll enable animations we'll enable this here and all we're going to do is go all the way to the end this little arrow right up the top to the last tab effect settings random animations for all events we're going to put a check in there and now when we minimize and maximize windows we should start to see different effects as they do that or if we start a new window same thing we'll get different effects okay that's taken care of that uh, now the, there is animations here uh, animations plus I have uh, activated that there's some nice stuff in there but it is pretty heavy on the resources so you can explore that on your own we're going to go to cube reflection and deformation so we'll select this we're going to go to deformation currently it's on cylinder so you'll see what's happened to our cube it's gone a bit funny looking I'm going to select none and we should have a cube again Uh, you can have cube caps uh, if you if you go new and you can browse to an image I'm not going to do it now but you can browse to an image if you've got an image and you can put that on the cube caps on the top and the bottom and you a whole heap of more more features in there you can play through but we're going to leave it as it is at that point there uh, your wobbly windows are here you can select that and Get wobbly windows if you want that I'm going to turn it off let's come down a little bit further uh, place windows we'll select that and you'll see if I start the file browser it's going to start down there I actually like them starting in the center so you can see it's on smart I'm going to change it to centered and now it should start right in the center of the screen and if we start a new terminal into the middle of the screen as well with Linux Mint 20 in Matei they've enabled this in the panel is these little previews although I like them they're not functional and they're a bit off center as you can see there depending on where the mouse enters into the, the actual button there you see it's off center if we click just down in here right click just near the Firefox icon just to show you a bit better between the green and the Firefox there's three dots right click in there and go to preferences and here it is here hide thumbnails on hover we just select that and we'll close that and now those thumbnails are gone 
you can get them in compies by going here it is here thumbnail preview so if we turn that on and enable mouse position polling we should get little previews down there now and they're actually centered a little bit better again you can't click on them or anything like that they're just giving a preview there that's all I do there's some more settings in there if you want to play with that but I'm going to turn it off again the shift switcher this is another one I quite like so let's enable the shift switcher we'll go into the settings and I'm going to initiate a screen corner edge currently on none I'm going to use the bottom right select OK and now we should get this effect here and as usual you've got plenty of other options along here the, the shift mode is cover if we go to flip we'll get a different animation we get that and all I'm doing is running the mouse into the corner and then rolling the mouse wheel and on appearance you can have the icon overlay is emblem so if we have a look we can see we've got the little emblem in the bottom right hand corner of the window we can have big like that so there's plenty of other choices in there I'll just leave it at emblem it's also reflection settings in there reflections currently enabled so we could disable that we get all this reflection down the bottom of the screen go back you can have workspace naming so if we select that enable text and when I change viewports or to a different virtual desktop you'll see viewport 2 turns up if we go back it'll be viewport 1 so you can click on that and you can rename them there uh, we'll just call it video and now we'll have viewport viewport 2 over here and when we go back we should have video in the middle of the screen All right, so there's a bit of a, a basic setup there. We'll go back into preferences and we're going to change this from the flat file. We're going to change to G settings and there's a bit of a flicker on the screen. The expo is not working in the bottom corner there. Nothing's working over here because we've effectively gone to an empty file. Let's go import as and we go to downloads. Uh, I've got a couple of profiles here off another system. It's actually off a 19.3 system. So I'm just going to call it 193. And no, because I chose the word no when I saved the profile. Now I've added that. I should have a lot of uh, effects and settings running again now because they've been enabled on this profile. So let's have a look here. Uh, you'll see some of it's not checked even though I've got the cube. Uh, also notice how dark the cube is, or not so much the cube, but the whole screen goes dark on there. But if we go back and I actually go to this flat file again, activate the cube now, you'll see that it's not as dark and for whatever reason we lost our comp is settings so yeah we know there's a warning um, so there it is here you can see it's not as dark you can see how bright that is if we go back into preferences and we change this to the g settings and we've killed it have we uh, g settings and to the 193 profile you'll see that it's quite dark now I don't get this on my system but on this virtual machine here it seems to be a relic of uh, VirtualBox so anyway I'm going to leave it run on the, the flat file because that's sort of how it came and obviously if you want to import a profile and go to G settings 
you'll need to have uh, your own profile of another machine or your previous machine or whatever to import it first now you can export them as well uh, but again you don't seem to be able to build a, a profile on flat file a flat file is just almost like the name suggests it's just that one file and there's no import or export as far as I can tell so we'll go back and there's there's our comp is all fancy and plenty of effects on Linux Mint 20.